Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Scrugg and on today's video I'll be showing you the three tripods that I use to create all of my content that you guys see here on YouTube. So let's get right into the video. So the first one that I use, this is my favorite. Like if you guys haven't been on TikTok or if you've been not living under a rock, this tripod is literally essential. It's very compact so you can take it on the go and I use this often when like I'm out doing like lifestyle content or even when I'm doing my event planning uh, videos, I'll just pop this tripod on up and this will film everything that I need. Now to give you guys a reference of how tall the tripod is, I will go ahead and open it up for you. And I'm five foot four, so that helps for context. And if we just set it right here, as you can see, it's about four feet tall and it can maneuver to different ways. So if you're standing up shooting content, you can have your phone here and shoot that way. Or if you want to have it turned this way and you wanna walk around and hold it, you can shoot your content that way too. You have multiple options, lots of mobility. And the best part is it is lightweight and compact. Now, if you were to shoot on a desktop, you could put it there. And as you can see, you can get different angles, different views. Very, very essential for shooting content. An important feature of this tripod is the selfie timer that comes with it. It also comes with a USB cord to charge it. You'll just have to sync it via Bluetooth. With this, you're able to shoot all of your content without having to have a second person there. I know a lot of times as a startup content creator, it can be difficult because you think you have to have another person there to shoot the different angles and these, but this right here, this is your second person. So I will link this in the description box. This is tripod number one, must have. Okay, now this next tripod, this was like one of my first tripods that I ever got because of the ring light. I usually sh use this when I'm shooting TikTok content and I need a ring light because it just goes straight up. I have turned it to where the phone is like landscape ways for YouTube videos, but it's not meant for that. This tripod is specifically meant to shoot all of your long form vertical videos, okay? Now I have it plugged in, as you guys can see there. When you turn it on, the ring light comes on and it has different settings. So we can turn the brightness down or we can turn it up. There's also different fluorescent light settings as well which I thought was pretty cool to have different fluorescent white light. You can choose between those different features. So we'll turn that off now because it's blinding me. <laughs> um, these are the settings here. Similar to the first tripod that I showed you guys, you can set this tripod to any size. So I'm gonna do that for you guys right now. If I want to make it shorter and take the bottom, go ahead and bring that on up. Just like so. So you've got lots of versatility as far as the different heights. But again, this is solely for when you need that extra lighting for your content. Now, the other feature here is turning it forward, moving it back. There also is a setting here that can let you know whether or not the tripod itself is balanced, which is really great because it helps you get that great angle. So we'll leave that on the bottom there. But yeah, this is tripod number two, like I said. Tripod number two, great for your TikTok content, great for doing any vertical videos. But if you're trying to shoot content horizontally for YouTube, I would not recommend using this tripod. Other than that, it's great. It's small, but however, as you can see, the ring light won't fit in a purse, so to speak, like tripod number one. However, one cool feature is you're able to take off the ring light. You can unscrew it right here, and then you just have the tripod in two pieces if you'd like. So it's up to you. 
I will link this description box below as well. So this is the last tripod that I use for my camera. It's the Amazon Basics tripod. Very, very affordable. I'll put the pricing below on the screen. Yeah, as you can see, some of my son's toys are in here. <laughs> but it's super simple, guys. Super lightweight. Comes in so many different colors. And the main feature here is really just how you can maneuver the camera, raising it up, raising it down. Obviously, you'd have to have someone else handling that functionality whenever you're recording. But outside of that, very simple. Gets the job done. So yeah, cannot complain.